Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day, a good night, whatever time it is for you when watching this video. If not, I hope it gets better. You thought we were done with Ruby videos. You thought we were all done for now. You thought like once we caught up, we're gonna go watch something else for a little bit, and then we'll come back to volume eight. You didn't think there was anything else we could watch? But I think through yesterday's comments, and I think I've been asked either once or some other times beforehand that fellow reactor Murder of Birds has a video called Foreshadowing in Ruby Volumes 1 to 6. I've been asked to react to this video to, to know what little hints there are throughout the different throughout the show early on that would be leading up and foreshadowing stuff that happened later through the show. Okay, so but okay, so the original link to this video and the link to Murder of Birds channel will be down in the description down below. So you go check him out. It's pretty damn good. He was one of the people I usually go and watch after after watching my after watching and recording my reaction to the episodes and everything. I usually go went and took took a look. To, yeah at at how other people reacted to it and honestly that was probably one of my favorite more favorite parts about doing the reactions as well is seeing how other people were to react to everything that happened and it was just really damn cool also after the video i'm going to talk about other more videos that, that are coming out so that'll be good if you missed it maybe if I, even if I said it at the end of volume 7 I don't know but either way if you go on to enjoy this video subscribe hit that bell to know when I post a video like the video to show me that you guys are enjoying all the reaction content and that double played because I forgot what how I'm doing things <laughs> anyway let's get into the video I thought about watching this like legends. Jesus. Stories scattered through time. Mankind has grown quite fond. All right, I'm just going to say this one as well, one thing beforehand is if you guys have watched any of my videos, any of my Ruby videos, I'm dumb, as dumb as shit. So, there will be things in this that I'll still be like, "Oh, cool." But at the same time, I'll be like, wait, what? And I'll just still be very confused. I just thought that, that I should put that out there. I'm of recounting the exploits of heroes and villains, forgetting so easily that we are remnants, byproducts of a forgotten past. Man, born from dust, was strong, wise, and resourceful. But he was born into an unforgiving world. Your world remains, and in time... Your kind will grow to walk its face once again. However, without our presence, they will be but a fraction of what they once were. An inevitable darkness, creatures of destruction, the creatures of Grimm, set their sights on man and all of his creations. One night, the younger brother went and made something. Something that shared his innate desire to destroy anything and everything. So, the Grimm. The creatures of Grimm. Oh. Okay. You guessed it. These forces clashed, and it seemed the darkness was okay. intent on returning man's brief existence to the void. Am I? We are between realms. However, even the smallest spark of hope is enough to ignite change. Which is why we would like to... I'll do it. If you believe this will help humanity... Pira. And I will become your fall maiden. So, will you? I'll do it. Very well. Our creation rests within your hands. And in time, man's passion, resourcefulness, okay. and ingenuity led them to the tools that would help even the odds. The dust. This power was appropriately named dust. And without the blessing of the gods. No one could perform magic like mankind was once capable of. Nature's wrath in hand, man lit their way through the darkness. And in the shadow's absence came strength, civilization, and most importantly, life. 
that even the most brilliant lights eventually flicker and die. And when they are gone... Oh! Return. I didn't even notice that! But the, the continents so you were the dragons, dragon. sort of. Build your monuments cool. to a so-called free world. But take heed. There will be no victory in strength. How do I destroy Salem? Mm. You can't. But perhaps victory is in the simpler things that you've long forgotten. Things that require a smaller, more honest soul. Creation. So like I wouldn't be able to make choice. I wouldn't be able to make a video like this. I'm nowhere near smart enough to do something like this. This is cool. Now, I leave them behind with the hope that you may learn to remake yourselves. If your kind has learned to live in harmony with one another and set aside their differences, then we shall once again live among you, and humanity will be made whole again. But if you demand our blessings while still fighting amongst yourselves, then man will be found irredeemable. And your world will be wiped from existence. It's true that all of this began with war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it is true. peace that has served to shepherd humanity on its ascension to greatness. Huh. May we never stray from that path. Yes, the world of Remnant is indeed a dangerous place. But the Four Kingdoms stand as beacons of hope, as safe havens from the darkness that surrounds them. They are the key to mankind's survival, as long as they stand united. Jesus! Your book, does it have a name? Well, Holy it's about a man with two souls. Shit! Each fighting for control over his body. I'm sorry. What? I just recently watched back the beginning of Ruby and I noticed that myself. I'm sorry. Fairy tales. Stories from your childhood. Surely you must remember some of them. Well, there's the tale of the two brothers. They were brothers. Hmm. The older sibling, the god of light, found joy in creating forces of life. Oh. Meanwhile, the younger brother god of darkness okay spent his time creating forces of destruction cool the shallow sea the girl in the tower oh the They're girl in the tower. the tower oh sheltered a lonely girl this is really cool named salem salem It's about to be really fucking loud. That's really cool. There were a couple of things I like, like, like I said at the beginning of that. There were a couple of things throughout that. I was just like, what? <laughs> was very, very confused about, and very, very like, just my mind was just dead. But that was cool. I really, some things I really enjoy through watching shows and watching series is uh like things that foreshadow stuff is that you can go back and watch through it and realize things that you missed or that you that you of that you see in clear oh my god that you see clear as hell like later on in the show that's one of the things I really, really enjoy about TV shows. It's like they can, that people, the, the directors, the producers can do that. And it's just super, like, super sneaky and super smart. It's just really cool. Okay, that was really cool. I, I really enjoyed that. Seeing, like, like, different, like, foreshadowing moments that were brought into the show later on. Like Pira talking about different fairy tales, the book that Blake was reading, like that intro part to the to actually volume one, chapter one, was talking about a fair bit. 
that, of stuff that the two brothers did. Pretty cool. I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. That was pretty damn good. Thank you, Matter of Birds, for making that video. I appreciate that. Okay. So, about what videos will be coming out. A lot of you have asked for me to watch Red vs. Blue. I can tell you right now, I will be. I will be watching Red vs. Blue. Can I tell you that I will be finishing it? Right now, no. I have honestly no idea. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to check it out. I don't know if we'll be watching the entire thing. Because there is a hell of a lot for that one. There is a lot for Red vs. Blue. But, you know, who knows? I could really enjoy it. And then we, it could just go on for a really long time. Who knows? Might happen. Some people have told me about this show, Camp Camp. That looks really damn funny. So I'll probably be having a look at that. This Genlock looks really interesting. It reminds me, personally reminds me a lot of Pacific Rim. I don't know. I could be very, very far off. But like the trailer, it looked semi-similar. So those reactions and everything will be coming out over the next week or so. Mainly starting with Red vs. Blue because there's just so much of that. It will be more like my Volume 1 reactions as well, and like or Chibi. There's, there'll be like multiple episodes in one because those episodes are fucking short. They're like four minutes, three minutes each. So those will be coming out very, very soon. Um, also, I have Final Fantasy VII Remake officially launches tomorrow. I've had the game since, since the first. I've had the game since April 1st, but I haven't been able to stream it or like play it online and stuff until the 10th, which is very fucking annoying. <laughs> so there'll be that. I'll pretty much just be ripping my videos, my VOD straight from Twitch and putting that on the channel because I don't know how to edit, the, edit uh, I don't know how to edit things, so it feels good, man. <laughs> so with that, there'll probably be some other games coming out along down the line, like maybe like Last of Us 2, Cyberpunk. Or some other games, I don't know. <laughs> but there'll be a bunch of things. All that will be happening. I'm looking forward to all everything else happening. If you guys didn't know as well, the writers of Ruby have they've completed writing ruby volume 8 so now it's just time for them to get it all happening get all that stuff going but things with like the whole outbreak and everything see what time will tell but anyway guys that's it for me today sorry for making this video a bit longer but if you guys missed it me talking about it in another one of my videos then hopefully you didn't miss this one if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below, comment the video down below if there was, if there's any other foreshadowing moments that you know about that weren't included in this video, let me know. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.